Hello you guys, it's Dennis here for the Lightens Graphics and welcome back to Double T Friday. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to develop your creativity skill. And as always, let's jump right in. So if this is your first time here and you are looking at leveling up your graphic design skills, make sure you subscribe if you have not done that yet because we create content around graphic design and I know you love that. So the first step to develop your creativity skill is to stay off your comfort zone. And when I first started graphic design, that was what was actually killing my creativity skill because I was doing the things I knew how to do only. I never tried to do something new, okay? So when you stay off your comfort zone, you try to try out something harder than the ones you know already. So when I get to notice that I had to leave my comfort zone to become a perfect graphic designer and to build up my creativity skill, when I see designs I can't do, I try to do that and leave my comfort zone. And that is what actually kills most designers that feel comfortable with the things they know already without trying something new. So you don't have to stay one place if you must succeed as a graphic designer, if you must level up your design skills, if you must be a creative designer, stay off your comfort zone and try something else. And don't just go by your regular designs Stay off your comfort zone and try something new. Next on my list, copy your heroes. To be a better graphic designer, there should be sets of people you are looking up to. And for me, this was how I built my creativity skill. I had a lot of people I was looking up to and I loved their design so well. So whenever they do their design, I try to design just like them. And at a certain point in time, I started doing what I can do on my own. I tried doing something on my own and that was how I built my creativity skill. Next on my list, build good imagination. One of the best way to build your creativity skill is to build good imagination. If you can't imagine, then you can't be a creative graphic designer. So build good imagination and this is when you build your uh, the way you look at things. You build your eye, you, you, you train your eye. That is where the imagination starts. Looking at something and, and trying to imagine something abstract. That is where it starts. You have to train your eye and build good imagination to be a creative graphic designer. And next on my list is to do one thing many times. So here is it. It's very simple. When you try to do one thing many times, that is just the best way to learn and become better at what you are doing. Like I said before, and I've said that many times here, that to be a better graphic designer, you have to learn how to do one thing a million times, and that is how you get better and better and better at what you are doing. So try to do one skill you know how to do very well, do it many times until you get perfect with that. Then you move to another skill and you get even perfect and perfect and perfect okay that is just it so what i'm trying to say here is that when i first started graphic design i tried learning how to design lots of flyers and you guys know very well i'm very good at designing church flyers i tried doing a handful of church flyers and i keep designing church flyers almost every day and today i'm very good at designing church flyers that even in my dreams i can do that so when you try to do one thing many times you get better at doing that so choose a niche and try to be perfect in that particular niche if you are not good at all in anything graphic design then you should be better at one particular thing. And last but not the least, inspire yourself with inspirational resources sites. And this is what has helped me so well because I know a lot of websites that I can get inspirations. Try to inspire yourself. Get close to designers that does creative designs and go through them. And when you keep on looking at creative designs, you are actually training your brain okay when you keep on looking at creative designs you follow designers that does creative designs and follow their work by then you get updated by new with new designs and that is how you train your brain when you go to inspirational resource sites like freepick.com pinterest dribble behinds all these sites are good sites for inspirational resources so when you get there you see a lot of designs that inspires your mind and that is just the best way to train your brain and train your eye. 
thank you very much for watching this video if you find this video helpful leave a like and comment if there is any other way you can build your creativity skill and i did not mention that you can comment it down below and i would appreciate that thank you very much i'll see you next time